and oh right here's the price six dollars can you believe that boy whoever sewed this sewed really well anyways i think it's absolutely beautiful one dollar i don't think you can beat that and it's a brilliant green we are shopping carrie and i and we have found today some of the best little treasures carrie found the most treasures i was I couldn't believe what she found, but anyways, um, I get so excited when I go into places like that, that I video way too quickly. So I apologize for that. Next time I got to literally tell myself, slow down. I thought those might've been iron stone, but they weren't. Um, I think I got a couple items at this store. Carrie got the most. Um, Carrie has such an eye for seeing things, you guys. I'm not kidding. She got a picture there that I have seen forever and passed up, and she's seen potential. And now that I see it in her house, I'm like, well, why didn't I get that? Um, those coffee cups right there, I really, really liked, but they were all cracked, so I didn't get any. Um, these teddy bears coming up here in a little bit, I really thought they were so cute if you did teddy bears or something. I don't know. They just looked like, um, I don't know, nostalgic feeling. Um, they were all shiny and glossy. They were relatively cheap too. Um, checked out the baskets. I didn't, I don't need any baskets, you guys. Um, I love that basket. I thought that was so unique. Isn't that cute, you guys? Carrie seen these leaves. I totally passed them up. 25 cents each. And I was like, Whoa. I didn't even see them. I didn't even see them the day before when I had went. So she got those placemats. And she got the leaves. And she had them in my basket. And that's that picture I was telling you about. Carrie seen and snagged. And it just looks so pretty in her house, you guys. I thought these little... Avon perfume bottles are so cute. I almost got that little girl. I probably should have, but Carrie told me no, so I didn't. Um, this thrift store, me and Carrie found such cute little things, okay? That's kind of cute. I love blue. We get up to the register, and they're like, we only take $10 cash. You know, our, you know, they only take $10 on the Visa card. We didn't have cash. And we were like um, two dollars short, so we couldn't get anything at this store, and we couldn't find anything else that we really wanted. So we just put the stuff back. But I was looking for forks, you guys. I am out of forks almost, and I need forks. And I don't buy any silverware brand new. I buy everything secondhand. And um, so that's what I was really, really looking for. I thought those were cute. My sister Tara does a blue kitchen, but I don't think it's quite her look. So anyways, at this store, we didn't buy anything because we didn't have cash. I was super disappointed because even those, even though those were from the dollar store, you guys, they were so cute. And I told Carrie we can paint them white or spray paint them a really nice black, but we couldn't get anything because we didn't have cash. So I had to tell those items goodbye. Oh no, you can just take Carrie. like a steel wool to it. It's literally, no, no, I wouldn't even touch okay, it. Okay, don't tell me it still don't have a price. Oh, okay. It, hold on, Carrie, it's six. I'm literally, that's beautiful. It's been here since however long ago. Wow. It's stunning, I wouldn't touch it. Really, even I the would, gold? I wouldn't touch it. What am I, I can't put that in the living room, huh? Oh, it's beautiful.
Oh yeah, that's really pretty. How much is it? The ten dollars. Oh, Carrie, yeah, I paid twenty-five for mine. I don't want to tell you guys this because me and Carrie both kicked ourselves. Um, we both said, why didn't we get the trunk? Like we didn't buy the trunk. It was $10 and I guess we were just like tired and you know how you just get in a store and you just like don't feel like purchasing, but yet we were still purchasing. So I don't know why we didn't buy the trunk for $10. I went back two days later to see if they still had it. And of course it was sold. So. Other than that, we had a really good day of shopping, and um, I will show you here in a minute some stuff that we found. Good afternoon, ladies. I am back from Goodwilling and Habitat Thrift Store shopping with my sister. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I am like super excited about all of you that um, subscribe to me. And I just feel super happy and thankful. So welcome and I'm Sarah. And if you're super new to my channel and you haven't watched any of my previous videos, um, I am married uh, 15 years to Titus and he is, he flies the helicopter for uh, medevac when they pick up people that get, um, you know, in crashes and get hurt. So they go and pick them up and take them to the hospital and things like that. And then I have two daughters. I have a 12 year old and an eight year old and I homeschool full time. So super busy. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of our family. Uh, if you're new and haven't watched any of my previous day in the life videos. So I do day in the life videos. I do thrift store hauls. I do DIY projects. Thank you. Vivian and was heating my coffee up. Um, so I do day in the life, um, DIYs, thrift store hauls, um, decorate with me, clean with me videos. So I hope you guys enjoy all of my videos and find myself to be real and down to earth. And I just try to be myself on camera. So anyways, Welcome and thank you guys for subscribing. So let's get on with my um, haul. Really excited about this haul. Hold on, let me try my coffee. It's good. It's Fruity Pebble Coffee Creamer in here and it tastes, <laughs> if you've ever had Fruity Pebble cereal, it tastes just like Fruity Pebble cereal. Weird, huh? Super good though. Okay. Um, my sister Carrie doesn't like to be filmed too much and I, that's completely fine. So I try not to film her as much as I do my other sister because my other sister, Tara, doesn't mind. So um, you only seen Carrie's hands and occasionally maybe her for a little bit. But anyways, Carrie and I went thrift store and we had fun. She came home with you guys. We kind of have an unspoken rule. If you're going to a thrift store or an estate sale or a Goodwill, you have to call your sisters. Like that is just an unspoken rule. So me and Carrie went thrift store and Goodwill and, and I was dragging that day really bad. I was so tired. And we came home and there was an estate sale we had forgot about. And so we, we went the opposite direction. It was over here and we had went this way. And we came home and Carrie's like, I have to call you. She's like, I went to that estate sale. And I was like, Carrie, you didn't call me. And she's like, I wasn't planning on going in. You know, I just, she had to run and get paint for Ronnie because they were painting their fence. And she went by really quick. And this is all she got. I'll pop a picture up. Um, in the screen and she got all of that at the estate sale for $45 and yes that's ironstone pictures an ironstone vase um, an old book written by Laura Ingalls uh, Laura Ingalls daughter Rose Wilder so she really just hit the jackpot so yeah she wasn't meaning to go but she just thought well and it was later in the day it was like three o'clock or two o'clock and you think a lot of stuff would be sold but no she literally came out with I was like, oh my word, I cannot believe that we didn't go to that estate sale. But anyways, let's get on with my haul that we found. Um, some of this is from that day and then some of it is from, uh, one of it is from a Christmas present Tara gave me that I knew I wanted to show you guys, but I've just been, I have so much to film. I've been putting it in the corner of my living room and waiting to show you guys. So let's get started. This beautiful little pillow, it's like terry cloth. And I don't know if you ladies know about anthropology, but to me, this is so anthropology. And it is just adorable. And it's about 
it's pretty, you know, it's a, it's a small pillow. But I thought it'd be so cute sitting in the entryway on a chair or even on, um, in the kitchen somewhere. I don't know. I'll find a spot for it. But isn't it cute? And it was $1.99 and I got it 50% off. Isn't that crazy? And I love it. So I'm just going to wash it and throw it in the dryer and it's going to come out perfect, I believe. I hope anyways, but no. Anyways, what are my finds? You guys, I'm collecting for Christmas, so that way when I, when Christmas rolls around, I have my Christmas decor. This little bunny rabbit, and she's pretty little, so this is my hand. I'll give you a reference. Um, I paid $3 for her, which I think is kind of expensive, but I'm going to take her little clothes off because I'm going to show you two more on the bed that I paid $2 for at the Goodwill. I have two of the big ones and then one of the smaller ones. So these two big ones right here you see, I paid $2 at the Goodwill and I took their little dresses off because they had big Christmas dresses and I tied their ears in knots and set them on the girl's bed and you guys, it looks perfect. So this little bunny rabbit's gonna go adorable sitting somewhere in their room um, with her little clothes off as well. And maybe to the right of me on this um, this little wicker chest right here. So that's one of my little purchases. Yeah, boy, whoever sewed this sewed really well. This heavy brass, it's really solid. Like when you pick it up, you feel the weight of it in, in this piece. And it's about so. And it's already like green. It's a little bit green where it's been tarnished and it's just a little brass basket. I think it's absolutely adorable and I don't know where it's going to go, but I will find a spot for this little guy in my house, my living room or my bedroom. I picked this up for $1.50 and Carrie, I don't know if you guys watch the YouTube channel Farmhouse on Boone and Carrie has such a good eye for things, but she was like, that looks like what uh, uh, Lisa would use on Farmhouse on Boone and I was like, it kind of does. Isn't it cute? So it's got like tiny checks on the front. I'm trying to let you guys see it. It's pretty big. Um, you know, it's a nice size. That's the top of the lid and that's the side of the lid. I love it. I think it's super cute and old fashioned. Very farmhouse. To me, this is very farmhouse. And though I'm not really t super farmhouse, I really like this and I will find a spot for this in my kitchen. And I paid a dollar a dollar fifty for it. Okay, I found this little old Avon deer, which I think is so like creatureish and woodland. And I'm gonna soak it in hot water and clean it out and get it all nice and clear looking. And she, it's really tiny. And I'm gonna set it in with my um, iron stone pieces. I paid twenty five cents for this at um, the Habitat thrift store. Um, I got this really pretty. I'm not going to open it up all the way, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of the de design right here. It's like a lime green, and it's a pretty big tablecloth, and I love this color of lime green. Like, I, it's one of my favorite colors of green. It's this limey color. It's got the pretty detail on the bottom, and it's in perfect condition, and I paid 50 cents for it. So this is going to go perfect for future tea parties for the girls that I've been promising them I'm going to throw. So I've got to do that. But anyways, or Christmas, this, I love limey green, so really nice. I got this beautiful basket for, let's see, I, they gave it to me for $2. It says four, but I got it for two. It's pretty big. It almost looks like it's on little tiny legs because it has it on the four corners. It's pretty big, you can see. And I'm going to use this for a trash can in my bathroom remodel. I paid like 15 for the girls off Amazon. That, I was like, why did I do that? But this is perfect. This is gonna go in my bedroom. Okay, I am really excited about this find. Um, I was in the Habitat and this elderly lady was helping me and she was so sweet. I've never seen her in there before. I cannot remember her name because I'm terrible with names, but um, she was like, I think she was happy that I was, she, you know, I think she liked books too, and so she was happy that someone who loved books was buying books as well. 
I'm not gonna show you all the old books I got there, you guys. I got them for a dollar each. When I say they're stunning, they're stunning. And on Instagram, on a resale page, um, a lady was selling a set of six from like 1929 for $238. I got a set of eight that are from 1888 that I'll show you later in a haul. Beautiful, a dollar each. I was like, oh my word. And we weren't gonna run in there. We were just, me and Violet were like, we had Rose. We we're like, nah, let's not run in. But I was like, let's just run in really quick. And I was like, all right, it was raining. Rose had flip-flops on. I was like, okay, and we ran in. So I'll show you those books later. Look at this beautiful green Shakespeare book, you guys. It is beautiful. I'm gonna go slow for you book lovers so that way you guys can really get a good, I mean, look at the spine on that thing. It's gorgeous, okay? Stunning. It is beautiful. The problem is being that lady, I forget her name, was looking through it and we were trying to find the copyright, but see, some pages have been ripped out. So we don't have a copyright, but I'm guessing this is from the 1800s because I can just tell by looking at the writing and the pictures and the, I want to be careful with it. It's kind of fragile. Oops. See, it's already wanting to rip and I don't want it to rip it. You can just tell by the writing and by the look of it that it's just super old. I, it's the Shakespeare's, it's Shakespeare and it is, let's see. It looks like poems. Or no, it's the play. Cause it says scene three, first part of Henry, King Henry. Rich, King Richard, and it says scene one, like act five. I'll let you kind of just see it. it says it has like scene five, scene four, like act one. So it's the Shakespeare. Anyways, I think it's absolutely beautiful. One dollar. I don't think you can beat that, and it's a brilliant green, stunning. I have a hutch in my living room that is. It looks like it's decorated, but it's not. And once I get to my living room, I'm gonna fill that whole hutch with nothing but books, old vintage books. So it's going to be a really stunning effect when you walk in my living room and see all the old books just staggered and lined in that, that hutch. So that's, I already know what I'm doing in there. All right, you guys, I got this vintage Walt Disney Disneyland book. Violet loved it. And it is so cute. $1. And the pages are I tried to find a copyright, but I couldn't find one. But it says 1964 is the copyright, and it is super cute. It's kind of big. So it's just, just a Disneyland book that I absolutely love. My sister has called me twice, so it's through off my entire groove. But this is the Disneyland book, $1. It's not in the greatest condition, but I mean, it's old, and I'm just gonna let the girls look through it on their wicker chest as you know at will when they want to. Last but not least, this is from my sister, and I'm not sure how much she paid for it, so I'll have to call and ask her, and I'll pop a, a price up on the screen. Oh, it's an ironstone, you guys. It is a ironstone platter that is pretty big. Get close. It's crazed and crackled. You can see all the crazy. Can you see the crackling? It is gorgeous. And, oh, right here's the price, $6. Can you believe that? This was my Chris, one of my Christmas presents from Tara, which I'll show you guys the rest as I get to them, but ironstone platter. I, when I seen this, I was like, oh my word, I love it. So I have two platters that are ironstone that are crazed and crackled that I know for sure are platters, and this is from Tara. Literally love it. So that's my haul, ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys come back for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one.